Bon Appetit, which is a, um, a high-end cuisine magazine, recently uh, did a graphic that for some reason a liberal journalist circulated around. I kind of objected to him doing that uh, for reasons I will explain in a minute, called Anatomy of a Millennial. This was, and it said, millennials are hungry, they outspend other generations on restaurants and are folk forking over $96 billion a year on food. Uh, now, here, a less than scientific look at their purchases. What follows is a sort of visual uh, parade of insults against the millennial generation and ra all the cliches, ramen and avocado toast and craft beers and all of that. Uh, she's spending 14 as much time on food as the average middle class family. Grass fred brassola doesn't come cheap. On and on and on. But, you know, I got curious about this. So I looked up that figure, $96 billion a year on food. And this is why I think these sort of cliché stereotypes of any generation, particularly millennials, who have been so shafted uh, by inequality. This is why any such cliche uh, doesn't do it. I went into the study, the original study that was done, and here is what I found. The group has cut back, meaning millennials, in both restaurant visits and spending. Older millennials aged 25 to 34 have cut back the most on restaurant visits, making 50 fewer visits per person over the last several years. Younger millennials uh, made 33 fewer visits per person. Average per capita restaurant spend for young millennials is $1,240, down uh, considerably from 2007. Annual uh, per capita spend also down. Uh, now, this is an industry survey, by the way. Uh, the reasons why millennials are cutting back on visiting restaurants are varied, but first and foremost, they are concerned about the money they spend. So, in other words, Bon Appetit, a snob magazine, quoted a figure out of context from a study they didn't cite. The study actually shows that millennials are cutting back on spending because they can't afford it. Millennials surveyed indicated restaurants can be too expensive. It's cheaper to eat at home. In other words, while they made it look like millennials are blowing their money on avocado toast and so on, actually millennials are cutting back compared to previous generations because they're financially strapped. Why are they financially strapped? Well, student debt, for one, which we really ought to do something uh, radical and transformative about. Uh, secondly, they graduated into a crappy job economy. And even if the economy were to get substantially better, that lasts for a lifetime. We owe them something better.